In this project you will learn how to build a mini furnace capable of melting some of the most common metals in your household. To start you will need to print 9 circles, 12 cm diameter each. You can do it on paint or word, it's really easy and simple. After this is done, get two sheets of blue styrofoam. The styrofoam should be around 3 cm of thickness. Lay them side by side and start tuck taping the previously cut circles onto them. Now grab a knife and cut them the best you can. Don't worry if you don't get perfect circles, we will solve this problem later on. Make sure you're really careful in this stage. The knife tends to slip from your hands due to the density of the styrofoam. Once all the circles are cut, stack them. It is now time to start bonding them. We use toothpicks to secure them, but you can also use something like glue. Now, with the stack properly secured, start by getting some old newspaper and wrap it around the stack until it is fully covered. Bond everything with duct tape, don't be shy, use as much as needed to secure everything. Now, grab a scissor. You will need to trim the edges to form a nice round cylinder. Cover everything with more duct tape to prevent the stack from gluing later. This should be the final result. You will use this to form the inner chamber of the furnace. To make the furnace body, we use an old trash can made from stainless steel. We use the lid as the bottom of the furnace. Now, secure the lid to the structure with some good old duct tape. This duct tape will be removed later on, it's only being used to prevent the two pieces from separating while the plaster is drying. Now, let's make the heat insulation. Start by measuring 10 kg of plaster and 1.7 liters of water. Combine both of these ingredients in the bucket and mix them until there are no lumps of any kind. Pour the mixture into the bucket. Add more mixture of heat insulation if needed. Now, grab the previously made cylinder and press it into the middle of the furnace. This will create a chamber on which you will melt your metals. Press the cylinder until it dries. We use an old engine and a piece of wood to make pressure on it, which you can use wherever you want. 
it just needs to be heavy enough to push the cylinder into place. Now, leave it to dry. Watch the second part, we will continue this experiment there.